All right, so the uh, vehicle's been idling here for about two to three minutes. Uh, so far, nothing's really caught my attention as far as uh, any concerns. Um, there are some cosmetic blemishes uh, that I've taken plenty of photos of. You can see a little chip here. The paint looks pretty, pretty good. Nice little luster to it. Uh, the grill was nice and tight. And uh, got a little chip here. But again, you'll have photos of everything. Here on the windshield, you can see the, where the delamination is right there. A uh, little bit of uh, oxidation there on the uh, windshield wiper trim, which uh, will just need to get re-chromed. Exterior chrome looks pretty good. Um, this will need to be reworked somehow or replaced. Oh, well, for here, the, the parts are difficult, so, so you may have to get that reworked somehow. Uh, we have that there here. The roof uh, looks pretty clean. Okay, push back out. Rim stars uh, presented well. Little uh, chip here on the uh, door here. Let me give you some paint uh, meter readings. So we've got six. Uh, what concerns me is when I get readings of 19.7. Anything uh, over that is an indication of body filter. So the hood, we know, is, is straight. Uh, those are actually some great readings. Um, so we're at eight there. Good. Good. So we're seeing consistency here. So that's that's really a good sign. Um, so eight. Let's get the door here a little bit. 13. 13, which is fine. 13, good. All right. Let me push back here a little bit. A uh, couple little scratches here on the window. Uh, nothing major. Um, the door, uh, that, see it closes good that time, but you can see where it bounces back a little bit. So you just gotta get the right little little push to it and then it'll close. So that that's gonna need some attention. We don't know if it's a striker or an adjustment here, but that will need some attention here. Uh, seal looks uh, decent there. Uh, push it back here. We see the cracking here in the finish. There's a little dent there on the, uh, on the bright work rear window portion. Yeah, um, and then uh, we can see the blemish here on the left uh, quarter, and you know the rubber is gone here, uh, as uh, Mike just pointed out uh, for the door. Uh, let's get some more readings on the quarter panel. All right. Okay, so the left quarter area, we're getting some heavy readings there. So it looks like this area has been worked. That uh, there is bondo there. Let's go back here a little further, and yeah. So it's safe to say, well whole left uh, quarter has been worked. Uh, upper portion, okay, high reading there. 17, okay, good. Uh, let's check that one more time. Okay, and then the, the rear shelf area here has been worked as well. Uh, let's take a quick look at the roof. Good readings, all right, good. Let's get the trunk. Five, 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 five. All right, good readings there. So, okay, so the rear shelf here has been worked as well. Trunk lid is in good shape there. Let's get the right rear quarter panel. Okay, high readings there on the bottom. Let's try it one more time. Okay, uh, maybe some uh, bondo here in that area right there as well. Okay, eight and a half. And these uh, paint meter readings, uh, that's uh, thousandths of an inch. So, for example, okay, well, we got some uh, filler here too. Oh, let's try that again. Nope, we're okay. Okay, so that's 18.5 thousandths of an inch is what I'm measuring. Okay, so we've got a little bit of body filler there. Okay, good. Good. Push back a little bit more. Side works well. This door closes nice, nice and solid. That's good. Okay, push back a little bit more. Let's get that door. Six and a half. Nine. Five. Six and a half. All right, so the readings that we got, looks like uh, primarily the uh, left uh, quarter panel has been worked. A little bit here on the right, and then we know about the parcel shelf, and a little bit here on the uh, pillar. Uh, walking over to the engine, the uh, it's been idling uh, pretty good. Um, Mike says it runs better once it warms up. The springs are improving as well. I can explain that in the report, uh, but when they're not used or it sits for a long period of time, the, the springs do get weak because they're constantly full, uh, really stretched. So uh, it's progressively gotten better. I've already taken a look at the uh, pulleys. Uh, they all seem to be uh, in alignment. I always have to check for uh, wobbling. I've already checked the oil and see if I can still open up the radiator here because I like to check to see uh, for internal damage or contamination. I don't see any oil mixed up in there. And I don't see any bubbling. Bubbling is usually an indication of a blown head gasket or, you know, some major uh, internal uh, engine problems. And I already checked the power steering fluid uh, level is good. Brake fluid level is, is good as well. The uh, automatic uh, transmission fluid. 
Okay, so Freddy didn't come over. I got him to the uh, pack of um, debris in there. Okay. And I already checked the uh, the frame here in the front. I don't see any signs of impact damage, but you can see here uh, for the uh, bushings, those things are, are worn and, and wasted. All right. And again, they're so completely shot here on the upper A arm. It looks like it's completely deteriorated there. All right. So. I haven't, uh, oh, and then on the windshield, there's a uh, minor rock pit here, and then I already pointed out the delamination already. I haven't checked out the interior yet, uh, as far as uh, scrutinizing it, but I'll just give you a quick little overview. Uh, that way I can just keep it down to one video. Um, so that's the interior. Looks, looks pretty clean. And um, we're going to get this car uh, taken inside because it's getting really hot out here, and uh, I'll finish up the interior and do the underside, and then, uh, then we're going to go for a road test. Uh, let's just take a quick look at those gauges real quick. Okay. And the interior.